And thank you and good morning and welcome to the book review from the virtual bookcase of Patrick Greenwood. And of course, I'm your host, Patrick Greenwood. Thank you very much for joining me on a Friday morning. Uh, a wonderful President's Day weekend coming up. Obviously, another very important point, my birthday tomorrow, I'll turn 59. Looking forward to a wonderful day as well. But today on our book review, we are taking a moment out of our time to enjoy Asian women trailblazers who boss up. Now, I have had a chance not only to read this wonderful book, but I've had a chance to interview on my podcast multiple authors at the same time. It was one of the most successful podcasts I ever did. Uh, it was very exciting to meet these incredible women. Uh, each of them had an incredible story of what they talked about. So let's just kind of chat a little bit about not only the book, but let's talk about what you know, the, the, what's behind the book, right? So the interesting thing about when I had a chance to kind of interview these ladies was really about listening to not only their stories, but their stories talk about you know, perseverance. It talks about becoming a first, you know, like Irene Nakamura becoming one of the very first Japanese court reporters, right? Or Amy Lee becoming a CEO of a publishing house, right? It's amazing that when you, when you take time out of your day, and of course, we all love to read uh, and really kind of become immersed into a book, you know, you want to not only get something out of it, but you also want to be able to pass forward something that the book, you know, meaning is telling you. And with this one, I, I had to read it probably almost two times because I was only very, um, you know, very much loved what the book had to say, but I did not want to do any of the stories injustice because every woman that was featured in this book, uh, you know, really had a, a kind of a different story, a different kind of, you know, place in, in their lives. Many of them have overcome tremendous tragedies. Some have, have busted through <laughs> the, the glass ceiling in corporate America. Some have bursted through the glass ceiling in their personal lives, right? And I think that all of us, you know, that are out there today doing our thing, we have to take time out and say, okay, I, I need to feel some inspiration. If I feel like I don't feel motivated that day, or I feel like I, I didn't, you know, to feel like I don't want to get up and write, or you know, maybe go jogging or, or go cycling, uh, these this is the kind of book you want to pick up. And you want to take, you know, not all the stories, let's say just take one of them, right? Um, you know, my, my favorite, of course, you know, not being impartial, of course, but, you know, I actually love the book so much. I have to read Tackling the World with the Game Faith by Amy Lee. You know, that was one of my favorite stories, of course. And, of course, don't wait until you're ready. Irene Akamura did incredible as well. Success does not happen in a vacuum. You know, Janana Sarwar wrote an incredible little chapter as well that I really love. Of course, Susan Go with her Knowing Your Value <laughs> was very important as well. But, you know, as you kind of read through the book and you kind of see all these different stories, you, you can see that we have to kind of, as professionals in, in our space, really have to take a, an equal look at, at our peers, uh, our female peers that work with us, our colleagues, and, and, and realize that, you know, their journey was over broken glass and, and sharp rocks. And many of us didn't nearly feel that kind of pain coming up in corporate life. They had to double down and really double up. And, and when they did that, they've excelled. And these women are proof that perseverance, working, commitment to faith, commitment to yourself, commitment to people around you, you know, you're going to rise up as well. You know, Leslie Liu writes an interesting piece about, you know, collecting strength and healing ourselves by raising our frequency, raising the intensity, right? Don't, don't be quiet. Don't be shadowed. Don't be in the corner. Bust out, right? Be there. Be firm. Be firm. Be in the front. And, and I think when you feel those kind of stories, it kind of motivates you to want to you know, really kind of take a moment. Uh, you know, Dr. Julie Chan wrote in her piece about keep learning and adapt. Absolutely. Don't ever stop learning. Don't ever stop educating yourself. Don't stop improving. Don't stop finding ways to make yourself better, right? Don't listen to people that are telling you don't do it. You know, do everything opposite what people are telling you to do. It says they don't do it. You know what? Go ahead and do it anyway. <laughs> so anyway, this is an incredible book. It's called Asian Women Trailblazers Who Boss Up. Uh, it's incredible. Pick it up on Amazon.com. I highly recommend not only you pick up the book, but also take a moment and kind of pick up some of these authors as well. Pick up some of their works as well. I know Emily Lee's written some incredible books about snow in Vietnam and snow in Seattle. Of course, a cookbook as well. All these ladies are accomplished. You can learn something. I have learned something from them. I, I look forward to having them again on my podcast again, but they are incredible. Again, this is Asian Women Trailblazers who boss up and definitely check out Amazon as well. So thanks again for making it on this week's President's Day weekend, a book review from the virtual bookcase of Patrick Greenwood. And I wish you all very best, very safe weekend and stay safe as well. Take care. Bye.